All right, so today I have iPhone 11 that I'll be changing the screen on. It's cracked, face ID, everything works. So I just need a screen. Here I have an Intel screen that I bought for about $20. Yep, I've tested it, it works. So basically, first step, it would be to turn it off, but I'm actually not gonna do that because I wanna see the screen, uh, if it breaks more or if the LCD breaks because I can get the screen refurbished. Uh, I won't be doing that yet, but uh, I will be refurbishing my screens after after some time to save some money. So yeah, I recommend that you power it off if you're doing this yourself. Oh, I just thought it turned off on me. That was interesting. Uh, yeah, so you're going to need this, what is it called? The 12 tool, I guess. I'm just using a iFixit toolkit. Write this, this tool. To open these two bottom screws. Basically, just look at the, look at how the screw looks like and use the exact tool. If you use something different, it uh, will not work and you will probably, most likely, strip the screw and fuck it up for yourself. And uh, when you buy screens, if you buy a screen, I recommend that you double check that um, it, I mean, that it comes with tools that you will need. So, uh, I don't really care about this screen, even though I might get restored, but I don't really care. So what I'm gonna do is just find a pry tool and just lift it up without, of course, try trying to not damage the components inside. But, uh, I'm just gonna stick this. Basically, just use your way of opening the screen. You can use a plunger, try to do it the careful way, but uh, if your screen's already cracked, you might not really care. So, uh, like I do, or like I don't. So yeah, yeah, okay, this is harder than usual to stick this in between the screen and the shell. Boom, got it down. I'm just gonna try to lift it up. Come on. This is the part where the screen might crack, but uh, as I already said, I don't really care that much about it. Because I have many of these. Yeah, I'll just be using the uh, riskiest move and just force it open, basically. That's what I'm doing right now, just forcing it open. And boom, it's a little open now. Now I need to be a little more careful. So what I'll do is go carefully under the screen here and just make sure that it does not break. Boom, that worked fine. Oh, it actually cracked more over here. Which I did not hear. That's fine. So now, just be careful. There are cables behind there, by the way. So don't just force the screen open. Be a little careful. Boom. And it's open, I did not crack it more. Or I did crack it, but not the LCD, which is the important part for me. So yeah, now I can turn it off. I'm gonna hold these two buttons, power it off. Boom. Now, take out the screws that are down here. I'm going to need this tool. Yeah, I mean, just look at the screw and then find the right screwdriver. I don't know what the screwdriver piece is called, but this is a triangle. That's, that's all I know. Take these screws out carefully while holding the screen so it doesn't tip over. If it tips over, you might 
there's a really small chance, but there's a chance you will uh, rip the ribbon cables. And these two on the bottom do not matter if you're replacing the screen already. But this one, which is face ID basically, well, if you damage that one, face ID will not work. So yeah, I'm gonna unplug this connector. Screen is not. Then, 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 this connector and the last one over here. This connector, boom, the screen is off. Boom. Now, before you're done with the screen, what you're gonna do is take out these four screws, starting with the small one, which you can just use right away because you already used the that screwdriver for that. Now you're going to need a basic plus to open these. If it does not fit, if it's too big, if it's too small, do not use that. Find the right screw driver. And boom. And now you need to be really careful, okay? You need to be really freaking careful. careful. Or, uh, yeah, as I said, face ID will not work. So, get under here really carefully and then try to lift it up. Do not force anything. There is glue, but it, at times, can be a little hard to open. Or get out. You know, for this top part, I'm actually going to remove this metal thingy on here because that holds it in place and then lift it up here. And boom, it's out, done. That's the old screen, boom. Now, you need the new screen, of course. I'm just gonna dust these off because the, the old screen was cracked over here so there might be some dust in here. But uh, probably, or hopefully not. Boom. Now, put that in like it was, and it does not match for some reason. It's not perfect. Oh, come on, what the hell? It has to match. Boom, now it does, great. Yep. Now, put in the screws again. These three are universal, I'm pretty sure. Yes, they are. So you can put them in, in any of the three holes that they were supposed to be. You don't need to keep track. But for the small one, you do. Boom, that's one screw. These are very small screws. Be careful with everything. And do not rage quit, even if, even if it's a little hard. I've done this so many times and it's still hard to micro. Oof, okay, there we go. Micromanage these screws. And the last one of those three, come on, get on there. Boom. Nope, fell off. Boom. Oh, come on, come on. Nope, there we go. Do not force the screws in. If they don't wanna go, try again. Do not fight the, what is it called? Just don't fight the screw. The screw knows. Boom, and the last small one on top. Boom, that's that. Now is the part where you can apply your water gasket, whatever that's called, but I'm actually not gonna apply that because from experience, they are trash. The aftermarket ones, of course. The original, if your gasket is still on there, the original, keep it if it's all there. But as you can see here, it's not all here. But since, or if you're replacing it, remove all of these black gasket or the old gasket, basically. 
But I am not going to change the gasket because, yeah, as I said, the aftermarket ones are 90% of the time ass. Unless you, of course, get original or whatever. So I'm not going to replace that. I'm just going to act like that step is not there. Now, put these ribbon cables back in. If they do not want to go in, do not force them. Try to search for the spot and boom, click them in. They're supposed to click. If they don't click, make sure they're in place. Sometimes they don't click. Like this one, that barely made any sound, but I can feel with my thumb that it, or finger, that it went in. And this one, this one made a click. Boom, that's done. Now, put on this, this piece that on there boom then put in these screws one by one while holding the screen do not release the screen or you might damage it if you just release it as I said the ribbon cables are really fragile okay boom second screw Boom, that's in. Third screw. Boom, and the last one. Boom. Oh, nope, that was not straight. Now it is. Now, for this part, I will say this once. Do not force the screen in, okay? If at some part, like, align it, and then... Oh? Yeah, okay. So I was lucky. It went in as it should. But if you are not lucky, your screen might have a loose screw or something like that. Do not force the screen in. If you force the screen in, you will most likely damage it. Uh, I have done that before. And it was not fun, okay? Uh, I mean, I lost a little, a little money. And uh, yeah, I mean, I was a little angry too, I think. But that, was, that actually happened in a video, so if you want to check that out, I don't remember what video, but check the restoration iPhone videos out. There are not many of them, because I usually deal with retro consoles. But uh, yeah, now, bottom two screws, put those in, and turn it on. Yes. Yeah, I mean, the new screen is not perfect, as you probably can tell. But that's just how it is. Oh. Yeah, I mean, actually press it a little. Boom. There were some tabs there that uh, weren't in place, but now they are. That's interesting. That actually has never happened before. But I just saw that the area was lit up, so I just pressed it in. Important display message. Unable to determine if your iPhone display is a, is a genuine Apple part. Go to settings, da, 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 da. Yep. 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 Because you did not do something, or you basically didn't reprogram the screen, and for that, you need a tool, or... Or, I mean, the tool doesn't really work, so... From my experience. But, uh, yeah. That message will pop up, and True Tone will not work. Otherwise, your screen works fine, most likely. I mean, I don't really know. Maybe your screen does not work. And uh, in that case, it's a cheap uh, screen, most likely. Or a broken one. If it's broken, you'll get your money back. But yeah, let's test some functions. Camera works fine. Let's see if Face ID works. Okay, code has been recently changed. Yep, works fine. So yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.